up there, but you can call me Kate. Today, we're going to talk about two of my favorite things. What are two of your favorite things? Okay, well, that's not what we're teaching today, but I like those too. Today, we're going to be learning about toy and toy. So let's start with the history. The history of the hula hoop goes all the way back to ancient Greek and Roman civilization. Children in those times used a stick to hit their hula hoops and have them go faster. They often had races and would test their agility and strength. After, after the Roman and Greek civilizations fell, this, export, this sport also spread to England, where children played it in a similar way. All the while, these hoops were made out of wood. Do you know what this hoop is made out of? Plastic, yeah, you're right. Okay, so moving on to when it came to the United States. Hooping came to the United States by the Native Americans, much like lacrosse, and it died off until about the 1950s, when the whammo mo was created, and suddenly hula hooping was a trend all over America. Hula hooping kind of died down like most trends do. Hooping became popular again in the early 1990s because of a band called the String Cheese Incident. They threw out big hula hoops into the crowd and everyone got a chance. And it just spread because it's such a good workout and it's so fun. And that's the history of hula hoops. Now we're going to learn the history of these. Do you remember what these were called? Poi, yeah, you're right. Good job. Well, Poi started in New Zealand. Do you know where New Zealand is? Right, underneath Australia. So, Poi started in New Zealand by an ancient tribe called the Maori tribe. And originally, these balls on strings were used to increase wrist strength for the women and reaction time for the men to help with their hunting. There's no exact evidence of how this poi movement got to Britain, but it was embraced there by their culture, and later moved to the United States. Poi has now been developed to not only include balls on strings, but balls that glow, and even balls on fire. These two tools, poi and hoop, are the predominant tools used in flow arts. Flow arts is a modern dance form that uses tools to create pictures while dancing. And that's what we're going to be studying. So look forward to some new tutorials coming soon.